Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emanuel, I'm an ally pilot and in today's video I want to answer a question that many of you have been asking and that is why is it that the Airbus A330 climbs rather good and the A340 climbs rather bad even though it has more engines? Well, this basically comes right down to it already. It has more engines. Now even though four engines might look like it has a lot more power, Indeed, it is the opposite. Installing four engines on an aircraft for the engine manufacturer means that you will only need enough power so that three engines can safely climb you out of any airport you might want to fly into. So, the airplane may lose 25% of its thrust, as in one engine, and still keep climbing. On the other end side, if a two-engine aircraft like the A330 loses an engine, it means it loses 50% of its thrust. Now things become even a little bit worse when you think about what's happening in the background, because all of a sudden you not only lose 50% of your thrust, but you also have that dead engine that you need to carry with you, which also produces more drag. So ultimately what this comes down to is that you not only lose 50% of your thrust, but I don't have a number for the A330, but in the 737 we said we lose about 80% of our available power when we lose one engine. And looking at the rate of climb of an A330 single engine, I tend to say things are probably similar to the 737 there. So, with the A340 an engine may go boom, you still have three remaining. With the A330 an engine goes boom, you just have a single engine remaining, and that is what has to power you out of whatever situation you're currently in. And for that reason, four-engine aircraft typically climb worse than three-engine aircraft, because all the engines installed don't have to be as powerful, because they don't have to overcome the loss of so many other engines. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I do hope you found this one interesting. If you did, do let me know in the comments below. I'm looking forward to what you are going to say about this. And as always, leave a like if you liked the video, comment to let me know what you think, and subscribe for more. Finally, if you really want to help out the channel, why not make a small donation through the Buy Me Coffee link that you can find in the video description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again on the next one.